Hey, uh, Taylor Swift coming out. Uh, Taylor Swift. That's probably not right. Uh, Taylor Hicks coming up in just a couple of minutes on Super Talk 99.7 WT. Taylor, you if want? you heard that, that's completely on him. Where? I had nothing to do with that. Uh, I mean, my bad. It, I, I know two Taylors. Well, I know one Taylor. I know of another Taylor. Well, I, I love them both, but you're always dissing on, on this Swift, so the fact that you dissed her when trying to refer to him should be taken as an insult. I think it would be, I mean, n- no offense to Taylor Hicks, but I think it would be pretty big news if we had Taylor Swift on. You know? Um, is he calling back? Is he calling us? Is that right? Is that what he's doing right now? Calling the hotline? I assume. Uh, I, I bet that's him. Uh, 615-737-9986, if you'd like to be a part of the show. I'm, I'm hesitating going to phones because uh, we are anticipating a call from Taylor, who's got a show coming up this weekend at the Franklin Theater. Uh, we also, I think he's at the Opry this weekend, if I'm not mistaken. We'll talk to him about it and find out how his knee is. I think he's getting his knee looked at, too. Uh, 615-737-9986, if you'd like to hit us up on the Members Nutrition Super Text Hotline or... You know, obviously, uh, you can hit us up on the phone lines as well. Uh, 41 minutes after the hour, um, we've, I've got more on Hunter on the Hill. I've got more on McConnell and how he should leave right now. Uh, Lloyd Austin can't sit through a meeting on Capitol Hill, which indicates to me that he should leave as Secretary of Defense. All of that on the back burner as we welcome back to the show the one and only good friend of the show, Taylor Hicks, joins us on the Murphy Show Hotline. Hello, Taylor. How are you, sir? Hey, Murphy. Mr. Swift, how are you doing? Oh, hush. Isn't that nice? That's such a nice... (laughs) <laughs> hey, look! I'll take it any. I'll take it any day of the week. Uh, you know, the fact that the fact that she's got that that you know people have have gotten my name wrong with her, and then her name wrong with me. And the, I, look, I'm I, she's a, obviously the hottest thing in show business. So I'll take it. We get mixed up. Who knows? I don't know. Somebody might accidentally download a record of mine. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Just type in Taylor and download whatever you get. Or if right? you really get yeah. lucky, somebody might cut you a check of hers. Well, that's true, too. I mean, look, I'm all about it. Let's have so – let's just be misinformed with that situation. Well, let, let's just be really clear. Regardless of who's selling the most records, I know who was Taylor first, and that's Taylor Hicks <laughs> was Taylor before Taylor Swift. What's up, man? I've got a great, I've, I've got a great story about Taylor Swift, though. I uh, I was uh, – my first tour right out, right out of Idol um, – you know, I uh, I had a pretty big band, road band with me, and a uh, lovely uh, female backup singer that was with me on the road for a couple of years. Melanie Yema is her, her uh, Yema is her name, and uh, you know we we got off the road, did a, did a couple of tours together, and then about three or four years later, I mean, I kept up with her a little bit, and uh, I look on the I look on the stage with Taylor Swift, and lo and behold, she's uh. She is a staple uh, uh, background vocalist for Taylor Swift and, and, and that whole outfit and has been with Taylor for a long, long time. So I feel like a little bit of a proud parent. You know, as I, <laughs> I gave her her first, uh, her first in, in in show business, and now she's uh, touring the world with Taylor Swift. Uh, that's awesome. That's a, no, that's a great story. I mean, you, got, I mean y- y- you have, obviously, you are a name unto yourself. Uh, you're coming to Franklin Theater. I, I understand. I don't know. I haven't confirmed this with you, but I understand you might be making another appearance of the Opry. Is that right? Opry tomorrow night. Yeah. Wow. I, you know, I, I told them, look, I said, look, I'm, I'm 15 minutes away. I'm probably in my pajamas. I can throw, I mean, I can throw in a little hair, you know, a little hairdo and I'll be, you know, you need me. I'm here. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in the, in the, on the on deck circle. I, I don't mind that as far as the Opry goes at all. That's awesome. Well, I want to talk about Franklin Theater a little more uh, in just a second, Opry a little more, but uh, your fans, your adoring fans want to know how the knee is, Taylor. Did, oh. you, did you screw your <laughs> I mean, knee? I don't, I don't know that I'm I, supposed to be talking about this, but I, I hear that maybe the knee's up. Uh, the, something, there's a joint upset it, somewhere, right? It got a, it got a little, it got a little tweaked, uh, not going to lie, and uh but believe it or not, um, you know, modern medicine has uh, has allowed me to get around and move on stage, and uh, uh, that's going to get looked at. But, you know, all is good. All is good. Yeah, just tweaked it a little bit. But, you know, those things happen. Never been under the knife at, uh, going on 50 here, and uh, just, you know, thankful that we live in, a, in, the, in the modern day that we do. 
because it's amazing. You know, you, you when something goes wrong, it's it's unbelievable what they can do for you. Is it uh, is it wrong of me that as you're talking, I feel I feel nothing for you. The only thing I'm thinking is now's the time to take Taylor ta- Taylor out to the golf course and whip whoop up on him. Now's the time. If he's got knee issues, then now's my opportunity. Yeah, yeah getting on my left side right now through a golf club might be a little bit difficult. But uh, all in all, uh, you know, very uh, all in all, moving around pretty well and, and looking forward to this weekend. Well, I hated it so much. I mean, you had the Franklin Theater event set up and, and snow and ice. I mean, the, you can't control the weather. That's one thing you can't control. And I'm so proud that you're coming back to the Franklin Theater. Tell me about, I mean, you had the delay, obviously, um, and, and now you're, you're back there at the Franklin Theater over the weekend, right? Yeah, back Saturday night, um, doing the night moves thing, kind of the, the Bob Seger, uh, the Bob Seger stuff uh, that we talked about a, a, a month ago. Um, and, you know, look, had another month to sell some more tickets, uh, tickets are, you know, we've got a few left. Um, they're, uh, it's just such a great venue. And, and, uh, you know, when you get into those situations where you have to, you know, when, when weather, you know, gets squirrely here in Nashville, especially with snow, it's just best to just, you know, see if you can move it. And luckily, uh, the Franklin theater was so kind to, to be able to move the date and, uh, bringing the whole band back. Um, you know, it's going to be a full band show and doing some Seeger, doing some stuff off of my records, doing some stuff off of idol. Um, you know, it's interesting when you, when you tour and you play shows, um, this time of year, it always helps, you know, being in the idol brand because idols, it's almost a little bit like a billboard for you. You know, we do yeah. we do pretty good business around idle time. You know, I watched, um, I caught, I haven't watched a lot of it the last several years, I admit that, since they, they kind of rolled the cast over and, uh, and and now they got, you know, a new crew up there as judges. Uh, I haven't watched a lot, but I watched uh, Lionel Richie and who else is up there? Uh, what's her name? Oh, uh, Katy Perry. Oh, Katy Perry. Yeah, Katy Perry. Uh, I can't believe I couldn't remember her name. Anyway, I watched a little bit of it the other night. He had it on. And, uh, man, oh, man, there's just some talented people in this world, Taylor. I mean, I know you hooked up with the brand early on. You won it early on. Uh, do you go back and watch a little bit of it when you have the time ever, or are you just too busy to do so? I do. You know, I do. I, I um, you know, I keep in touch with um, – with the show and some of the people that are producers on the show. And, um, you know, I do, I get, I get asked, uh, about it a lot. Um, so I do keep, uh, you know, I, you know, when I'm, when I'm traveling sometimes on in the planes and stuff, I'll watch and see who's, uh, see who's, you know, doing well. And, um, you know, it's always, I, I, you know, I get asked about it a lot. I still love watching the show and, you know, I like seeing, you know, it's interesting being able to, you know, have talent, you know, be shown, and it's not an A and R perspective. You know, this is this is what America wants. Whether it's America's Got Talent or any of the shows now, the variety shows and the and the talent shows. You know, it's it's almost like America gets to play the you know the A and R rep. Mm-hmm. You know, they decide who they want to hear, who they want to listen to. But it's interesting because you know, as much as it is a television show. Uh, right now, you know, the, the, the end game is to be able to hop off of that platform and, and sell records. That's right. That's right. And, and it, I mean, it's a platform that elevates you, but I always like to bring this up. It's Taylor Hicks that keeps that going, right? You have an opportunity and American Idol and your talent and your ability and your drive and your courage got you there. But what keeps it going is you. And so those stars that keep that performance level going post idol, those are the ones that I have such respect for because I mean the grind. You know, I mean I don't have to tell you, man. You know about the grind of doing this day in day out, month in month out, year in year out. It's uh yeah, it's well you know keeping your name out there and and you just can't say no. You know, can't say no to anything that comes up. I mean, yeah, when you jump off of the idol platform, I mean you got to hit the ground running. I mean you got to. Yeah, sell as many tickets as you can, sell as many records. You know, if somebody wants you to do some Broadway stuff or some TV stuff, you just never, you know, even if you weren't on American Idol, my my advice would be to take every to get, take every gig that you possibly can. Um, the great thing about Idol and some of those shows is, you know, there's a lot of people in this country that don't that don't that don't have the money to 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 
go live in Nashville or to go live in New York or L.A. or, you know, what Idol and those shows do is they take, you know, they take the production to you and they come to a town that's near you so you can so you can showcase your, your talents, which I, I thought that that's a great endearing thing for these shows to be able to do is because there's a lot of folks that, you know, just don't have the money to go to Nashville. Mm-hmm. So when you get a, when you have a, a, um, you know, you have someone that you know that's, that doesn't have those means and then they can go and audition and make a name for themselves, for themselves. It's, uh, it, it means a lot and it's, it's fun to watch. Tomorrow night at the Opry, that's kind of a late, is that a late ad? I mean, they just, you know, you, I mean, when the Opry calls, Taylor answers, right? <laughs> that's pretty much it. When it yeah. rains, it, when it rains, you know, yeah, and then that's what, you know, I, I, look, I welcome that. Uh, luckily, that's one of the perks of living here in Nashville is that you get the call and, you know, there's such gracious hosts over there and it's just truly a wonderful uh, run production and a run show. Obviously, they've had a long, you, you know, history of being able to put shows on at night in and night out. Yeah, it's my understanding. Uh, I, you that know, it's, it's my understanding when you look at your phone and it says Grand Old Opry on the phone, you answer the phone and you say Howdy. That's, that's my understanding. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, that's what you do. And if you say if you do it right, they might put you in a better time <laughs> slot. You, you got to get your Howdy. You <laughs> And uh, are there tickets? Are there tickets for the Franklin show? Are there still tickets Franklin available? Show, yeah, there's there's a, there's a few tickets left to the Franklin show Saturday night. Um, you can get them through the Franklin Theater uh, website, or you can go to my my website. But yeah, that love being be, being able to be here and to, to be able to have that theater uh, down the street. It's just a it's a it's a wonderful venue. If you can't come see me, come see a show there because it's, it's a great venue. Well, I was about to say, if you love Taylor Hicks, then you're going to go anywhere to see Taylor Hicks, and I encourage you to do that. Uh, but if you don't know anything about Taylor's music, you're going to get a fine show, and you're going to get one in a fabulous theater because you're right. The Franklin Theater is a H-I-C-K-S. crown jewel. H-I-C-K-S. Yes. Taylor, H- H-I-C-K, not S-W-I-F-T. <laughs> <laughs> brother i love you i wish i could see you this weekend i'm out of town so i, I can't get there but uh we'll talk again soon and come by anytime man y'all have a great weekend thanks matt thanks taylor there's taylor hicks joining us for a few minutes good friend of the show and he's got uh he's got that add-on show at the opry and then the uh the show it's a makeup show uh it was a storm show which i was going to get to go to but sadly poker tournaments call